Swami. One who has written Gita Bhavan, the Shavatara Stotra. So he used to stay in the Navadvip area near the king's palace. But he is very secluded personality. So one day, because of his uh, sincerity, the Lord showed him his worshipable deities are Radha Madhava. So first Lord displayed himself as, uh, you will have my association in the form of Jagannath. And you, Saru, Lord Jagannath. So then, uh, but he did not want to leave the place of the Lord, the future abode where Lord is going to come and uh, enact his fasten. But it is again the order of the Lord to proceed to Jagannath. He came to Jagannath Puri and he was uh, serving Lord Jagannath there by his uh, poetry and songs and that. So one day there was one family, one uh, elderly Brahmana who had been praying to Lord Jagannatha for a hair for uh, many years. They wanted a son, but they could not get, they got a daughter. So he thought, whatever is done is because of you, I am going to offer it back to you. So he wanted to offer his daughter to Lord Jagannatha only. So when he came here, Lord Jagannatha in a dream had instructed him, there is one of my servant by name Jaideva. So you go and offer him. He is becoming too renounced. So let him get married and enter into family. So that Brahmana brought uh, this Padmavati and the uh, front of Jayadeva and said, uh, So I have been ordered by Lord Jagannatha to hand over my daughter. He said, No, 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 I am, I, I want, I am not able to manage myself now. We are saying one more person, I can't manage to so take it back. So there was an argument if Jagannatha wants me to marry, then why he is asking? But finally the Brahmana said, It is a Lord's order. I am, I am leaving her at your disposal. Whatever you want, you don't. He went away. Then Jayadeva asked that girl, uh, what is your name, uh, wherever you want to go, please inform, I will take you there, uh, I will drop you there. She said, no, 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 it is a Jagannath order, my father had brought and handed it over to you. No, I cannot go anywhere and all, you are my life and soul, I have dedicated myself. If you reject me, I will uh, commit suicide here. What is this? I am not prepared for all these situations, but Lord had added me, so finally he had to accept. And by the sincerity also he had accepted that. So one day he was inspired to write uh, Gita Govinda, a song which glorifies the loving affairs between Radha and Krishna. There was one particular situation in which Krishna had to touch the lotus feet of Radha. So Jayadeva was feeling bad, whether will, will it diminish the position of Krishna, that Krishna accepting a subservient position to Radharani. So he was feeling like that, he said to his wife, I will go take bath and When he went out, the Jagannath himself who has come as Jayadeva Goswami, Jaya Radha Madhava Jaya Radha Madhava Radha Madhava Radhe Jaya Radha And he came back and he wrote that verse, ate the food offered by Padmavati and uh, he went away. Before original Jayadeva comes, he vanished. So when Jayadeva came home, he saw wife is eating before him. Generally wife will not eat before him. So she, he came and asked uh, her, how are you eating? How are you eating means you just now ate and went, after that only I am eating your remnants. So then uh, he went and asked uh, what happened, then uh, you went out immediately, you came back and then when I asked, I got the idea what I am looking for and uh, you wrote something and you came back and you said I am hungry, keep me, keep, feed me something. I fed you, after you fed only, and I started eating. Then he went and saw that verse was there. Dehi Pada Pallava Plavam. That means I accept my total surrender at the lotus feet of Srimadhi Radharani. I am subservient to my devotees. So in that way, Gita Govinda was very famous and it was becoming very popular. Dehi Pada Pallava Mudaram. The king of that area, he was becoming very envious of this nature. So he was thinking uh, uh, this person is getting undue credit. 
I am also a great poet. So he also wrote one more Geeta Govinda. He also wrote in a different format and all these things and all. He said, from today, my Geeta Govinda has to be sung in Jagannath Temple. Finally, competition has come between two Geeta Govindas, one of the King and one of Jaydev Goswami. So that night, both the books were kept in front of Jagannath and doors were closed. Next day morning, Jaydev Goswami's book was there on the chest of Lord Jagannath. The other book was thrown behind. Since it was thrown, the Jaydev Goswami's Geeta Govinda, the superior thing, and Lord would accept. Women who used to collect flowers for the Lord Jagannath. So Devdas is there for. So she was going in the fields and she was singing Jai Gita Govinda. Ahe ni ra sa ila pravala matto barana muara ta nali ni bona kupara dalana. Ahe ni ra sa ila pravala matto barana muara ta nali ni bona He was running behind her in the fields to hear that melodious singing. So, because he was running around and he was going around, the cloths were getting dirty. The thorns were destroying his cloths. So, next day morning, when they opened the altar and when they saw the deity was uh, so hazardly dressed and all these things, and all, the king became very suspicious and he asked, us, "What happened?" So, nobody could answer. How oh, the deity dress got spoiled and why there is dust on the deity of Lord Jagannath? So that night, Lord Jagannath will reveal in a dream that <clears throat> that that girl was singing so nicely. He became very much captivated by her singing. So he went to there to the fields to hear singing. So while hearing, he forgot about the external atmosphere, and that's why his clothes were all soiled, and uh, there were uh, bruises across his body and everything. So King immediately next day morning he ordered a palanquin to be sent to that girl and brought her to the temple, and every day informed that girl, you don't go to the forest now. You sing here only because uh, in such a few where and all Lord will go. Better you stay here and sing. So in that way, see how Lord was becomes bound up by the devotion. He doesn't see how big or how small we are. It's all the devotion what captures, what captures the bhakti, the sincerity, the sincerity. In that way, Lord becomes very much devoted towards the desires of the devotees, and devotees are there to serve the mission of the Lord.